If I only did this once in my lifetime, I would be happy. This is a great night. Great night for me. Sharon, thank you for uh, coming out and sharing this four decades, man. I, you know, I forget about it. I forget about it. I don't know. You know. I'm out there just partying and working, having a good time, and next thing I know, I'm like turning 65 and shit. I'm going, what? Everybody's always, you know, trying to say, you know, lie about their age. Fuck that. I'm cool with it. I'm big. I'm happy. I can do this? Come on. Never dreamed I'd still be doing this. Believe me, I never dreamed it. But now, I never dreamed about quitting. <laughs> that, that ain't even doing this, no. But anyway, so, when Denny and Bill and I in Montrose, we were first starting out. I was like, you know, 23 years old or something, and I was, I was listening to every singer that came out, and when I heard other singers that were good, it fucked with me. <laughs> I'd be going, damn it, that guy's good, shit, you know? So, so there was this group in Europe that, uh, that you know, Montrose really loved. We really liked this band, and, and they broke up. They got back together with a couple new singers, and, one of them was somebody we never heard of, and the first time I heard these guys, I'm going, oh, fuck. This guy's singing his ass off, you know, right? So, long story short, back then I come to find out recently, I received a award, and so did this guy in Las Vegas. And it's a homeboy, homeboy, actually, up there. And, uh, and we got talking, and we realized that I was listening to him, and he was listening to me back when we were in our 20s. It's an honor to bring out just to jam a little bit, okay? Mr. David motherfucking cover that.
pass at first. Way back, 73. Now, Mike, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah.